Hello, my name is Jillian Chase Fader, and I am a person, actor, musician, writer, things. Wow! Thank you, guys. Oh, is it a bathing suit? Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, you can wear it with your Thank friends. You, Mom. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. It's like a, you know, like a little softer pink. I like it. Softer, like that. It's yeah. so cute. Okay, because we're going to have salad last night. Honey, you want some of these, right? Hey, Ella, you've already had 670 calories today. And you know you aren't supposed to have over 600 before dinner. Like, I've been acting and doing music since I was little, but I started producing and writing, uh, like, scripts and books uh, when I got older. So it's kind of tricky. I love everything equally, which sounds so cliche. But I started writing actually in, like, elementary school. I would write, like tiny little children's books and set up like a little writing studio in my family room. So I think I've always kind of liked it in a way. My dream as a child was to be an author and then that faded and turned into acting and then around like 17, 18, I was like, oh wait, that whole love that I kind of started ignoring because I was busy doing other stuff. So I kind of picked it back up again and I've been doing a lot of that and I love it. Oh, I started writing my short in 2022 fall, I believe. It was a September, I'm positive about that. I believe it was, yeah, I think I was 20. And I wrote it and then filmed it about a year later. So it was kind of a long turnaround process, but I kind of wrote the whole thing pretty quickly and then put it aside for a good nine months and then picked it up, edited it, and got it ready to go right away. I think I might just go lay down for a little bit. But can I save this for later? It's really good. Yeah, I'll put it in the fridge for you. Thanks. Happy birthday. So my short film was about an eating disorder. Yeah. So it's about a girl struggling with anorexia and um, she's just like trying to live her normal life and kind of stuck inside her head. So I personified the voice of an eating disorder to be an actual human figure, just to kind of give people an idea and an insight of what it's really like to have an eating disorder. And my main focus for it and goal for it was to kind of show people that eating disorders are a mental issue and something that's going on inside of you instead of outside. Because I think a lot of the media tends to portray eating disorders as like a something that's only about weight and size and body image when it's really all on the inside. I, I wrote it from like a very true place when I was going through the feelings that I was writing about. So it would be like super raw and real and dramatic. And then when I came back to it, I was kind of like over all of that and doing better. And then I could kind of fix it up from a perspective of not being so close to it and making it more universally I don't know if acceptable is the right word, but like more for everyone. I think that for the sake of asking people for help, I think ask anyone you're comfortable with and they will help you get to the right people to help you. Because the last thing I would want is people not asking for help because they don't know anyone who's qualified to help them. So like ask anybody and they will, they're gonna love you and care about you enough to go find the right people for you to talk to. And then the question you actually asked me was um, advice for how to help people. I think the biggest thing for people going through mental health issues is just to assure them that they're loved and that you care about them and that you're here for them. And I think making comments about physical appearances, whether it be a good thing or a bad thing, is never, ever, ever helpful. And I think making comments to people going through hard times, that they've been different or changing, that tends to not be helpful either, in my opinion. So, yeah, I think just assuring people that they're loved and here for and cared about is just really all you can do. I've been acting in a ton of short films that are coming out at some point in the next year. 
But that's kind of mostly what's happening in Jill land right now is EP and the short film and I'm doing all the festival runs right now. So I'm flying to Tampa next week and then I'll be in Beverly Hills Film Festival at the Chinese Theater, which is sick. And yeah, I'm like keeping everything up to date on my social media so people can keep up. But it's kind of just the releasing stuff and then starting to write some new stuff land right now for me. Shall I write it in a way? Shall I try to get it done? Oh, you fill my head with pieces Of a song I can't get out Can I be close to you? I like being busy. I definitely like being busy and I get bored really easily. So like as soon as something's coming out, like the CP is coming out and my short film's coming out and now I'm starting to write a feature film that I started last week. So I get bored immediately and I'm like, I crave new fun things to keep my time going. I'm not making sentences today. <laughs> yeah, so I get bored. I have to be busy. My first single off my debut EP, Fall at My Feet, is coming out. It's called XY, and I really hope you like it. And it's super fun. <laughs> XY is about hating your ex <laughs> and all the all the whys like why did I date you why did I do this like I'm not you're not my ex you're just a why like why so um my Instagram is Jillian Shay Spader and my TikTok is Jillian Dot Spader and that's kind of all I post on oh I guess YouTube Jillian Shay Spader I think, yeah. Hi, my name is Jillian Chase Bader, and you've just been buzzed. I promise you, I'm going to do better. The problem is you're nothing but a constant disappointment. <laughs> <laughs>